Hey everyone, week number five of the 12 week bushcraft challenge. It's my application video. So uh, let's take a look at what I built this week. All right, so first things first, my 12 ounce drinking cup. This thing is huge, but I made some smaller versions and I wasn't able to fit 12 ounces of liquid, which would equal a beer. So in a minute here, we'll crack open this, this beer and see if it fits inside. I tried it with these smaller cups. This one only held about six to eight ounces at the most. So I doubled the size just to make sure that I'm good. That was a requirement, 12 ounce drinking cup, splitting a log in four, like so, and then putting the pieces back together. And I actually ended up uh, sealing it up with uh, spruce gum. So I was having a hard time getting it, getting it watertight. We'll take a look at that later. A bit more detail. Other thing was this birch twig um, broom. So, I mean, it works. It's more of a rugged brush. Not very fine, but functional all right and then the next thing was the wardrobe so the wardrobe is simply a paracord line that goes around and then uh, you use a few sticks to make some hooks and then you can hang your backpack or your gear anyways at camp so just to, to demo I have my small Fjall Raven backpack with my nomadic woodsman patch and uh, it works good so you need we needed three or four can't remember so I got one here and then I repurposed um, a pot hanger that we did last week made a hole through it so it's kind of a hybrid system. It's a wardrobe now, but I can also use it as a pot hanger. Here's the other thing we had to build, the coat hanger. But wardrobe, so I got my one, two, my three. I actually had this one already built. Just modified it a little bit. And then it's good to go. Just didn't want to cut another tree just for a simple fork branch. So I reused my pot hangers, right? Again, this is this is my pot hanger, so I have it actually adjustable. I can use the hole here, or I can use the hole down here, depending on how, how high I want to hang my stuff. And then, just show like this is a pot hanger, but doesn't have the hole, so. So yeah, I got four. Let's check out this coat hanger with the notches that I did. I don't even need to have it tied on. It actually works. I can put my my jacket on a demo. There you go. And it's not tied on or anything. It's just two notches that are coming in together. And uh, it holds fine. It's actually it can hold a bit of weight. Now for the long term you don't want to tie it just so your stuff doesn't fall, I guess, in the middle of the night. But take a look at how I did these notches. So very simple. Started off with making a square reduction on this one here. And then carving out the square out halfway through. Same thing with that one halfway through. And then they join. Joined together like that, and so the weight kind of holds on good like that. And then it's cool because it's you can assemble it, disassemble it, and uh, it's good to go. All right, let's get this Good Mood Brewery IPA open. 
and poured into my bushcraft cup. Don't see any leaks. Nothing's falling on the ground. I'm gonna have to let this die down before I can fit the end. It's almost all in. I only have a little bit left, so I'm pretty confident it'll enter. I don't have anything leaking on the table here. Everything's dry, so that's good. It's funny how a small can like this, <coughs> sorry I'm a little bit sick, a small can like this, you need such a big lock to fit it in, but that's just the way of the, the technique, because you leave, you got to leave some room on the edges, so your square diameter is very small, you know, it's not, it's not wide like, like this, eh? So. But yeah, the issue with it, it might be easier to do with some green wood, but right now in winter, like you can see at the bottom here, there's always seem to develop some cracks when you split it. It doesn't stay like perfect. So unless you seal it with something, I think it's extremely difficult to get it waterproof. I can't wait to see what the other guys did. But, yeah. So how did I seal this up? Well, I got uh, spruce root lashing, paracord, paracord, and spruce root down here. So what I used, I used some spruce gum. So this is the same recipe that voyagers and First Nations used to use for birch bark canoes. So first you, you boil it down. See how that, that cracks and it's brittle? Because you need to add a fatty, a fat content. So I filtered it out through an old T-shirt and added some some fat. And uh, you can see now if I move this, it is pretty cold in my garage, so it's still kind of brittle, but not as much. And uh, so that's what I used to seal my cup yeah for the purposes of this one I used lard like this but traditionally they'd use bear fat or beaver fat animal fat so don't have any any leaks Perfect, there you go. A whole beer in there and no leaks. Cheers guys. Let me know if you guys ever tried this technique before and what kind of woods you, you tried because this is birch and it, it split pretty good, but it wasn't ideal. And I tried with uh, the other one here is Balsam. This one's balsam poplar. It's got the really thick bark. And uh, the issue with this one was that the pith or the center was uh, rotting away a little bit, so it created a hole. So I don't know what Felix Imler uses for wood for his because all these projects by the way are uh, from Felix Imler's book uh, with the Swiss army knife projects and uh, so I don't know what kind of wood he uses but uh, I don't know I'd like to try eventually different <laughs> woods and see you know probably find one that works good but for the purpose of the challenge you had to do it within a week so this is the best that I could do anyways
Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I was a little bit sick this week, so I didn't do the actual over the shoulder video. I just made it all quick and then filmed afterwards. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to try some of these projects, let me know and I can help you out. Just leave a comment. I appreciate it if you leave a like and uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for week six of the Bushcraft Challenge. And I'm hoping to do a camping trip soon. So yeah, stay tuned and have a good one. Thanks guys.